hello guys in this video we are going to do the analysis of aeroplane wing so before we start i want to say that if you like the video please comment and subscribe to the channel so first we are going to start with, uh, by dragging the static structure to the project box and then uh, drag the model and link it to the solution of a static structure here we can see that the static structure and the model are now interlinked and the data are shared now click on engineering data as the airplane wing will be made up of uh, titanium alloy so add titanium alloy here we can see the, the properties of titanium alloy now going back to the project insert the geometry of the wing uh, to save time I have already made the geometry of the wing and converted into IGS format and imported it now click on model assign the material to the wing uh, titanium <coughs> in the mesh setting resize the mesh settings to get an accurate result here we are doing the minimum required mesh setting so that uh, we can get an approximately good result Okay. Uh, now uh, uh, the mesh has been done. Uh, go to analysis settings. In the static structure, select one face uh, which is to be fixed support. Uh, in the aeroplane wing, uh, one this edge will be at the fixed support and. We know that the pressure applied on the aeroplane wing is from the bottom. So insert pressure. Components in the y axis and the magnitude will be 0.1 psi. In the analysis setting, uh, activate the large deflection because the result uh, will be in large deflection and then in the solution insert deformation total equivalent stress. Now in the model analysis setting maximum modes to find uh, set it as 5 in the output control activate stress and strain now click on solve
now we can see the results Here we can find the five na uh, natural frequencies. Now select all the five frequencies and right click and create model mode shapes. Automatically the total deformation uh, will appear. Now click on solve. Here we can see the animation of the frequency. In the total deformation, we can see the display vectors. Hope you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, thank you.